Look at this man. Where do you think you were on to? Time to rumble. Oh, that's awkward. And he's not even shooting bullets. Or anything for that matter. Oh, he dropped something. Grenades? Thank you. Honestly, I haven't shown the cheese like a... Uh, yeah, the tricks and, and all that, the cheesy techniques that I usually use, that will probably be saved for the evil character. I may not show like everything that you could do with that character, because of course, there's a lot I can do that's really cheesy. Nine, I think. Uh, I'm hoping it doesn't crash. Uh, Arf. Oh, the whole map is slowly breaking. We gotta get out of here. Please. Oh, thank God. Well, should be just a straight shot. It's Candorus. We took care of the guards. We're inside the Ebon Hawk and all systems are go. As soon as you guys join us, we can get out of here. All right, sounds good. Oh, uh. Oh, that's awkward. No one said the targeting system in the game was perfect. I don't lie. Uh, what's it called? So it's funny because some of the, sometimes the enemies aren't always like balanced. I don't mean like they're unbalanced like characters or whatnot. Ready. But like sometimes the characters will be like. Yes. Sure. You know the dark Sith lords. You know these guys are, should be like the strongest out of everyone. All of a sudden, elite soldiers are just so much better than them for no reason. It's so weird, especially like on this mission. Then, like, another thing I find funny is Dark Brandon, or whatever his name is, you know, the the uh, apprentice to D Lord Malak. You know, he's supposed to be, he's hyped up as such a big villain. Only shows up twice, and on the second time, you just wipe the floor with him. Ah! How'd you yeah. like that? Well, damn, that was actually me. Like, look at this guy. And he's dead. That was a master of combat. And he's dead. Then again, I'm kind of going cheesy route with this, not gonna lie. I don't know how I'm gonna handle the second game. I'll probably do it the same way, but only I'll play evil style. And then switch to good style just to show you its powers or or things that you'll get. That's a lot of everything hitting me. How he knocked me down. How'd you like that? Well, that was easy. Honestly, these enemies are no, like, no problem. Oh, you dropped me something. Oh, you're too kind. Ooh, you too? You're too kind. Honestly, this is where you can really get some good, like, healing and whatnot. Good healing, see? And plenty of stuff to sell. Oh, huh. okay. Eh, it seems safe down here. It's all red, all scary. Looks normal enough. 
Uh, that's no good. Yeah, that's the big boy himself. Darth Malak. Down you go! Oh. <laughs> I hope you weren't thinking of leaving so soon, Bastila. I spent far too much energy hunting down you and your companions to let you get away from me now. Besides, I had to see for myself if it was true. Even now, I can hardly believe my eyes. Tell me, why did the Jedi spare you? Is it vengeance you seek at this reunion? What, what are you talking about? What? <laughs> you mean you don't know? <laughs> All this time and you still haven't figured it out. <laughs> I wonder how long you would have stayed blind to the truth. Surely some of what you once were must have surfaced by now. No, I'm Even a good the guy. the combined power of the Jedi Council couldn't keep your true identity buried forever, could it? Oh, uh, what could you mean? The Jedi do not believe in killing their prisoners. No one deserves execution, no matter what their crimes. The Council would not normally accept an adult for training. But this is a special case. They say the Force can do terrible things to a mind. It can wipe away your memories and destroy your very identity. Tatooine. Kashyyyk. Manan. Korriban. Revan visited each of these worlds searching for clues to reveal the hidden location of the Starforge. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Starforge could lead you down an all too familiar path. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them? Oh good, I thought the game crashed again. I was so scared it crashed. Ah, oh, what a shocker though, we're actually evil. You cannot hide from what you once were, Revan. Recognize that you were once the Dark Lord. And know that I have taken your place. You do not yet remember, Revan. The Jedi set a trap. They lured us into battle against a small Republic fleet. During the attack, a team of Jedi Knights boarded your ship. The Jedi strike team captured you. And the Council used the Force to reprogram your mind. They wiped away your identity and turned you against your own followers. The Jedi are fools. They do not believe in executing prisoners. Originally, I assumed you had died in the battle. Imagine my surprise when I found out you were still alive, Revan. Once I served you, Revan. But I always knew that one day the title of Dark Lord would be mine. When that Jedi strike team boarded your vessel, I saw my day had come. 
I ordered my own ships to fire on your bridge. I thought I could destroy all my enemies with a single glorious victory. I never dreamed that Jedi would take you alive from the wreckage. You mean why did I betray you, Revan? You are the one who taught me the ways of the Sith. The strongest must rule if we are to survive. You knew I would one day challenge you for supremacy, but you underestimated me. I acted sooner than you expected and seized the Sith throne with a single brilliant stroke. It's true. I was part of the team sent to capture Revan, to capture you. When Malak fired on the ship, you were badly injured. We thought you were dead. Your mind was destroyed, but I used the Force to preserve the flicker of life in your body. I brought you to the Jedi Council. They were the ones who healed your damaged mind. The Jedi Council didn't restore your wounded mind, Revan. They merely programmed it with a new identity, one loyal to the Republic. They tried to make you their slave. Forgiveness, Revan. You are weak. I was right to betray you. You are not fit to rule the Sith. A small part of me has always regretted betraying you from afar. I always knew there were some who would think I acted out of fear, that I did not want to face you. But now fate has given me a second chance to prove myself. Once I defeat you in combat, no one will question my claim to the Sith throne. My triumph will be complete. Ah, uh, your power is no match for the light. The Jedi Council were foolish to let you live. I won't make the same mistake. We shall finish this alone in the ancient Sith tradition. Master versus Apprentice, as it was meant to be. Oh, this ain't gonna be fun for me. Did he just buff himself too? Sorry, boy. Wow, that did not even stop him for a sec. Okay. Wow, he ran away. What a little coward. Uh, I'm stuck. Help. Help me, please. So, yes, we are the Dark Lord himself. However, we switch to the good side. The, other, the uh, what's called, the Dark Side playthrough will be just me, but going back. This is like a nurture versus nature type thing. Is it the world around us that shapes us who we are? Or is it just us deep down is just who we really are? This will be the the nature. Wait, no. This will be the nurture. You know, being around good people changed Revan. He's now a good guy. However, the other path will be that's just his nature. That's just who he is. He will always go back to being evil. Don't mind me just spamming abilities to protect myself. Oh. Where is he? He's somewhere. In here? Where'd this man's run off to? Uh... Aha! Uh -huh. Still, I think it's cool that I can actually use force powers. Oh, you're not strong enough to fight me. 
Yeah, you're really not that strong. This isn't over, Malak. Your friends do not give up easily, Revan. You always could inspire loyalty. But even the three of you together cannot stand against my power. For the Jedi! Dink. I'll hold Malak off. You two get out of here. Find the Starforge. No, Bastila, he's too strong. No! Ah! Locked. The door's sealed. We can't get past. Come on, we have to get to the Ebon Hawk. Bastila doesn't stand a chance against Malak, but we can't help her. Not here. We have to get off the ship and find the Star Forge. That's the key to beating the Dark Lord. Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. We can't let her sacrifice be in vain. Come on! All right, let's get the hell out of here. I'm still stuck again. This is awkward. All right, now I can move. Uh, this way. Yes, this is the way to go. See ya, punks. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. Please don't crash. I have a lot of editing to do. And we're gonna be chased, right? Yep, there you go. Also, I forgot how awkward it is to control this when out some people. I just don't remember if you can lose this. Oh yeah, you can lose this. Alright, we saw that a bunch of times. Where is Bastila? What happened on that ship? We ran into Malak. He would have killed us, but Bastila sacrificed herself so we could get away. You mean she's... she's dead? Bah, Malak won't kill her. Don't be foolish. He'll want to use her battle meditation against the Republic. Turn her to the dark side and the Sith will always be victorious. So pretty much, he makes fun of the Jedi for doing the thing that he's just about to do right now. Not so fast. We've got a bigger issue to deal with here. They deserve to know the truth about you. Do you want to tell them what Malak said, or should I? Revan? What, what are you talking about? Is this some kind of a joke? No, it's no joke. The Jedi Council captured Revan and erased the Dark Lord's mind. Programming in a new identity. Saul Karath told me on the Leviathan, and Bastila confirmed it. You're Darth Revan? This is... this is big. Do you... do you remember anything about being the Dark Lord? Uh, not really. Just a few flashes. That's it. Nothing more? Then I don't think there's a problem. It seems to me that if you don't really remember anything about being Revan, then it doesn't really matter anymore. You are who you are now. Right? Of course it still matters. How do we know more memories won't come flooding back? How do we know Revan won't suddenly turn on us? The whole time we've been chasing after Malak, we've had his old Sith Master right at our side, listening to our secrets, hearing our plans. I don't see the Sith Lord standing here. I see a friend who's been with us through thick and thin. Remember, Malak's the one who tried to destroy Terrace. <laughs> Big Z and I will stick by you. We owe you our lives. We won't desert you now. How can you say that, Mission? The Sith bombed my homeworld, Revan took away my family, and destroyed my life. Everyone knows it was Malak who gave the order to attack your people, Karth. You can't blame Revan for that. I suppose you've proven yourself to be a friend of the Republic by your actions so far, Revan. But can I trust you? Can any of us? 
you stand against? Will you stand with me? Well, the others seem to trust you, and I don't see any other way that we can stop the Sith. And I suppose that Malak is the real enemy here. I really don't have any other choice, do I? Damn right, you are short No, I'm joking. Uh, I promise. I want to believe you. You've proven yourself time and time again during our mission, but this is a little much for me to wrap my mind around. For Basil's sake. This must be even more of a shock to you. I don't know how you even keep going. I guess we both just have to find a way to push forward. Don't worry. I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of my assignments or this mission. But don't forget, I've sworn an oath to defend the Republic. As long as this mission stays on course, I'll stick with you. But I won't let you betray the Republic under any circumstances. So I guess that's it then. We keep going. We've still got one more star map to uncover if we're gonna find that Star Forge and save Bastila, so let's do it before it's too late. Uh-oh. Things are getting scary. I thought the game was gonna crash. Thank God it didn't. I'm so I'm so frightened of it crashing now. Honestly, we lost Basla, but everything else seems to be going pretty good. We don't seem to have any issues with anybody here. Uh, there's nothing we can really upgrade. Everyone's lightsabers are all upgraded. Everyone's armor is upgraded. Mind defecting, and that's cold, and you know what? That's better. Honestly, we, we did everything we can. We're all set. I just have to check if the uh, if the mod actually works. There's a huge mod, if I remember, that I installed. I'm going to quickly see. No? Yes, what's on your mind? You got it. I actually don't know if the if the mod is working or not. Oh, we're, we're at Yavin right now. Honestly, I would normally end the episode here, but lately I've been just taking videos and chopping them up as I please. So there's no real reason for me to do that now. Well, there's no real reason for me to end it when I can just chop into separate parts. Um, stealth. Oh, all these characters are gonna need lo heavy level ups, aren't they? Force resistance. Yeah. I don't like how it's doubled. I, I think I made a mistake when I made this. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, wait. He needs extra awareness. Yo, Jedi defense? You best believe I'm gonna give you Jedi defense. Attributes. Shy. Yeah, we'll give them constitution. Damn, you are leveling up quick. Boom, all your stuff is done. Jahani, what do we got for you, girl? Extra attack is definitely good. What's left for you? I guess I'll give you Im well, I know it sounds bad for a female. We'll give you implants. Uh 
Oh, you still can't use it. Oh, we can give you the master robes now. There you go. Now, you, now everyone's all set. All good. Sure. Nice. Let's sell a lot of stuff, make some money, and buy some good stuff. Honestly, we're in the end game. I don't think the mods installed correctly, so <sighs> I might have to go check if the mod broke at any point or why it's not loading. Oh. Muni of fire, cold, and sonic. I mean, not amazing, but pretty good insanely strong like light armor insanely good like medium armor a beautiful blade that's pretty good I don't see the purpose of this, honestly. Hmm. Kind of want to buy this just for fun. My money. Let's see, what what can we sell? Probably a lot of stuff. So all the stuff that we're not gonna use. the stuff we're not going to use. Boom. 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 Get rid of that. Don't get rid of that. Get rid of this. Maybe not. Maybe not that either. Gotta be careful what I sell though. Some of this stuff could actually be useful. Concussion grenades, don't like them. Oh, I, I just don't like the stun effect. It's really handy, but for some reason it never works for me. Poison. Poison hit doesn't usually work for me. And side grenades, good, don't use them. Adhesive, uh, in fact, I don't use very often. Cryoban, not really either. Plasma, hell yeah. Ion, Honestly, I have I have enough ways to take out droids. I don't have to worry about this. I have a lot of stuff. Like, get rid of these. Get rid of these.
Boom, get rid of all this garbage. Don't need that. Don't need this. Don't need that. Don't need this. Why am I buying this stuff that I'll probably never use? Who knows? Honestly, I think it's just cool to have access to nine. Honestly, I don't know if there's any more you could do with him. I will probably get on the ship, figure out why my mod, my mod isn't working. The you know the huge entire game replacing mod, if if the thing is to be believed. And I'll probably before I end the episode check off what the armor does. Uh, why was there a whole bunch of people just standing there? Let's see. Double strength and one uh, defense. Oh, technically, you get two defense and two extra strength. Good, but I mean, if you're using light armor, I don't know. That would be good for mission. I mean, that's kind of cool. Being immune to everything. That's just immune to everything armor. Three constitution. Three strength. Like, that's just nice. And four extra defense? I mean... Let's see. Honestly, I might as well start switching people's stuff. Oh, that Mandalorian armor actually isn't so good. You could probably use the heavy exoskeleton. There you go. You have to use this. You have to use that. You do not need that. Though the extra... The extra strength and dexterity would be super nice for you. Uh, I mean, you can't really wear anything. Take it out of there. Seven, four. Honestly, it might even be better just having her wear what's it called armor. Yeah, just to wear this. Boom, boom. There you go, now everyone's all decked out. Except... Candorous, who 
doesn't have anything good. Someone just dropped something on the floor. What is that? 411-2? No, I think that's the best we can get him. You just need to be leveled up. You're fine just the way you are. You're good. I believe Karf is the only one with an actual change. Damn, Karf, look at you. You're rocking like dead space armor. You look like, um. Well, not. Well, I guess Isaac. You look like, uh, the Isaac's, uh, main enemy slash rival slash friend. I don't remember his name, though. But wearing, I, he looks like him, but wearing Isaac's uh, outfit. Like I said, I'm not sure why we're, why the TLC thing didn't pop up. Ah, uh, yes, the last and final bad dream we'll have. However, it's all the way on the bottom floor. In the not so very fun Manan uh, Water Center. Oh boy. Did not appear. Yep, we have an issue, boys and girls. The main mod of the, that one to do this entire thing is not working. So I'm gonna have to either try to fix it or something. So either this is gonna be the final episode because I'll end up destroying these the save files and corrupting the whole game. Causing me to just shake my head and cry. Or, I get the mod working. But, if worse comes to worse, I may just end up finishing the game like this. With just the mods that I have for right now. But, before that can happen, this is Shotgun Rain Guy, signing off.